Alright, so all right, let's install SDR trunk. So you're going to scroll here on the right side. We're going to see releases. The newest version is 5 beta 3. You scroll down until you see assets. Click this to drop the menu down. I'm using Windows 10. I've already downloaded this. So we got that. So we got that downloaded. I'm going to go to the folder I downloaded it to. I'm going to extract it. I'm going to open this up. We're going to go to bin file. Scroll down until you see the SDR trunk bat right here. I'm going to create a shortcut. And you can uh, create a shortcut and stick it on your desktop to make it quicker to get to. I'm going to stick it in this folder we're using for the video. I'm going to fire this up. So, when you first fire it up, it's once the program opens, it's going to want to calibrate. And it takes a bit. So, when you click OK, it opens up the user preference window and it starts calibrating. You'll see a little progress window down here. It'll be like 18 calibrations to perform, and then it'll be calibrating. You can see it down here. It takes a little bit. When it's done, it's going to tell you to restart your SDR sharp. So you're going to need to close it down and restart. And then in this user preference, you want to select audio output tones. And then choose your VB cable. And then you're going to want to go down here to JMBE library. And we need to create a library. Hit create a library. Yes. And it's going to create a folder in your, your C user username. And it's going to create a folder called SDR trunk. I got really slow internet. I paused this. I tried making this video and I paused it before, but when I unpaused and continued with the video, for some reason it kept pausing on me. So I'm just going to let it run. All right, our library has been created. So that's how you see file storage directory. This is the folder that it created, and then everything will be stored in there. So we're going to hit OK. You've restarted after your calibration. You go here, your tuner. Click your tuner. This one's that dump 1091. Hit info, gives you some information on your tuner, your PPM. You use like SDR Sharp or something with your dongle and tune into like NOAA weather stations. Some people say to use higher known frequencies, but I use NOAA weather station. I know my PPM is plus one. I'll set that. And then here's your gain control. It used to come, when you first started it, it would be an automatic. It just, like, gets real dirty, overloaded. So it's nice it starts down here at 327. Depending on the day, some days the system's still pretty far from me. Some, some days 32 gets it. Sometimes i got to go up to, like, 42 to get it in. But that's your tuner information. Now click on Playlist Editor. And here's where having our 
premium radio reference description helps. I've already logged in. You're going to choose your country, your state, your county, and then county trunk systems. Have a drop down of the different systems. We're going to choose Cressa 911. And then you got to choose the one that's closest to you, the tower that's closest to you. So, like, you can look on uh, radio reference. And find your state, county, and your system. And you scroll down here and you see these are the tower locations in the counties. And you see there's multiple. Some of these systems have multiple control channels and alternate control channels. So you can get an SDR sharp or something and figure out which control channel is active to make sure you you can get it what your gain settings needs to be to receive it decently so i know this is the closest one you can see this is the control channel the others are alts and you got to go down here and you need a new alias list so you got to create a new alias name i figured out why it's pausing on me my hot key is Shift A, so when I did capitalize Crest of 911, it died on me. So 911. Cast, okay, so there we go. All right. So we hit that. We got our new alias. We're going to go over here to Top Group View. We're going to select the alias we just created. Import all Top Groups. Go back to system view. This window is just a little bit big for me. Oh, come on. You don't want to move for me. There we go. This window is a little big for my screen. So, so you went back to the system view tab. Click create channel configuration. All right, so there's a channel we just created. You can select a preferred tuner, which I only have one that's hooked up for this right now. Hit save, hit play. Hit now planning control, hit events. Um, but we're so, you go back to Playlist Editor. You go to Aliases. Select the alias you created. Here's all your top groups. Now, say like we're hearing right now, this is a transit. So, say you don't want to listen to the transit. You click the first one and keep scrolling down. Until you see the last one. Hit the shift key. Click the last one. Slide this over to no longer listen. Hit apply will no longer hear the public transit system. Now, if you want to record some groups, you click on the top group, you can slide record, you set the priority is one to 99. So if there's something else you want to listen to that has more priority, like a state patrol or something, you know, it's good to set the priority. So set the 50, you can choose a color, you can choose an icon, Hit save. We'll do a couple of them real quick here. Okay, that's a uh, fire dispatch. Alright, I'm going to mute this. Alright, so you can set a couple of them up to record. Here's the two main fire dispatches. Oh. 
So now when they come up, they'll record. And that's about that for getting it up and running. Just regain up to where you get a clear, clear signal, but you don't get all this yellow stuff in there. See if I go up to like 48, it starts getting more and more mess. You start seeing other junk in there. So you want to adjust your gain where you get a good enough signal to receive it and have some nice good clarity on your calls. That's it. That'll get you up and running.